Okay, so I'm going to show you a super quick way to do depth of field from Houdini to Nuke. Uh, you could use like compositing inside Houdini, but I really love doing this. But anyway, yeah, so we've got just a basic scene and uh, a camera. And then new output or your render node, you want to set up, you know, your resolution and stuff. And then your output picture, you want EXR, or there are obviously image types you can use like TIFF, but EXR is probably the best. Uh, and then you want to use, you want shading depth, but not this one. Uh, for some reason, Nuke just doesn't like this one. So just come down to here and use this one instead. And then uh, just render it. But just before you render, to show you what that actually gives you. So PZ will give you this image, which can be used as a mask for a blur or any other kind of like nodes that you have filled in like After Effects or uh, other software. So yeah, so just render the image and then we can go to Nuke. So inside Nuke, you want to read in your render, obviously. Then you want to shuffle uh, the render so that you can only get the depth layer, which should look like this, which is completely blown out. Then you want to color correct and then just like shove the gain just like all the way down and then you can actually start to see what you want and then create a blur node and then you can change this obviously to what you want uh how blurry you want it i like triangle however quality of 50 so it just looks the best and then you want to plug your original render into that blur node and then get the mask and use the color correct and then you should see this so the, the front is obviously not blurred and then it gets more blurry the further it goes back as you can see here yeah yeah like that yeah and i hope that's helpful for you thanks for watching